Funky Pump um, was born in Swansea um, in 2006. Um, it was a sort of an idea I had about putting a fitness class in a nightclub originally. And um, I went to a nightclub owner, um, asked him if I could rent his club off him between sort of the hours of six or seven a couple of times a week. Um, he thought it was a crazy idea because at the time, obviously, you could still smoke in the clubs and they were just like notoriously dirty places. So um, he sort of fobbed me off a little bit in the first instance. but. I was pretty confident that between the music and the sort of style of workout that I wanted to do, it was going to kick off. So um, it's a boxing based workout, that's my sort of background. Um, high intensity, we use the music, everything's done to the beat of the music, so we use the house music to sort of set the tempo. And um, you know, it's just a case of somewhere comfortable for people to train because of the dark environment, the nightclub lights, that type of thing. Sometimes that's a little bit more. You know, a comfortable environment for people training. Then you saw a traditional gym with a strip light in, and um, you know, all the mirrors all around the place. People seem to feel a little bit more comfortable and let it go and get into it. It's like um, if you're clubbing, you don't feel like you're actually putting in a workout, sort of thing. Exactly, yeah, you know, without a doubt, you know, lots of people say that you don't realise how hard you're working. The music's so loud, you know, you can't feel the um, hear how loud you're breathing. Um, you know, it's dark, so no one really looking at you. It's, yeah, that those are all the things which make get successful and you know obviously you won't get a better workout than a boxing based fitness class so you know all those three things coupled up you know it's been going for nine years now so it's obviously worked. Okay, on the 31st of May, um, we've tried it once. We uh, we had a go at it last year in in Swansea. We've moved up in the world now. We've now got a roof over our heads, and we're in the Motor Point Arena. So um, we're going to try and break the world record again. We're looking for over 1,200 people to take part in a circuit class. Um, you know, live DJ, all the sort of similar sort of things which you experience in a funky pump class, but obviously on a much bigger scale. So it's all for charity. Um, you know, obviously that's the main objective. And if we walk away with a world record on top of that, then it'll be, it'll be a really good day for everybody involved, you know? This is for Valindra, isn't it? So Valindra, it's a good cause. Yeah, Valindra um, Cancer Centre. Obviously, you know, I think we all know someone who seems to be more and more each each day, yet, you know, here and of, you know, another case of that. And, you know, that, that, that's all you can do is really just, you know, use your sort of influence and, you know, your sort of networks of people to hopefully raise a little bit more money and, get people involved, you know, they're doing a bit of exercise, raising a bit of money for charity, and if they walk away with the world record, then, you know, I'd say that's a pretty good Sunday afternoon, you know, that's not too bad, is it? Right, so how do people get involved? Um, they can turn up on the day, you know, there's no pressure. Obviously, we'd like them to sign up and make the commitment before that. Um, there's all the links on all our Facebook pages, our Twitter accounts. Um, you can get linked in off all those different places and sign up online, um, but like I say, Otherwise, if you wake up and you have a rush of blood on that Sunday morning, just, just turn up and we'll take your sort of contribution and just get you involved in the session. And it's, uh, it'll be a good one? Well, I'm hoping so. You know, we were disappointed last year um, that we didn't break the record. You know, it was a sort of a big ask, but I thought with the following that we had that we would, we would get somewhere near it, but um, unfortunately not. So this year we'll go again and if it doesn't happen this year, we'll try again, we'll keep on going, you know, and the, at the end of the day, like I said, the charity is obviously a big part of that, and that's, that's the main objective, raise as much money as we can, and see everybody doing a bit of exercise.